Okay, today we're gonna to show you how to get more clicks on a beachfront property. Beachfront properties are a little bit unique and we're gonna show you why. So let's dive in. Um, let's take a look at Jay's property here. Uh, we're looking at a two, let's see, a three bedroom condo right on the beach of Gulf Shores, Alabama. Uh, Jay has a really nice property here and um, he's, got a, he's got a good nightly rate. He's, got, he's doing a lot of things right. But when you look at this in IntelliHost, um, a couple things I see right off the bat. Number one, he's getting a ton of impressions. I mean like a ton of impressions and that is because he is beachfront. So 73,000 impressions in 30 days, most people don't see that on their listing. And the reason is because um, his top of funnel is massive. One of the biggest filters that people use on Airbnb is uh, beachfront. So if you're beachfront and you've got that listed in your listing, you can count on getting a lot of eyeballs. Now, it goes from uh, 73,000 and then he's getting on first page a lot actually. He's getting a 61% first page impression rate which is over the IntelliHost average of about 10%. So he's doing really well on getting on first page. So his rank's not an issue. But watch what happens when he gets to clicks. This step three of clicks is getting completely smashed. His competitors are getting about a 24% click rate, meaning 24% 24 of the time they're appearing on first, of, of the times they're appearing on first page, they're actually getting clicked. Jay's property is getting clicked only 7% of the time. So there is a big problem on the search page. So when we go there, he's, he's getting on first page and, and his property is right here in the top left. Now notice the difference between Jay's property and everyone else's. His is the only property that, well, except for maybe one exception, that shows only the beach. The reason that's a problem is because everyone that's even near the beach touts the beach, okay? So that doesn't give him a differentiating factor, a reason for him to actually get clicked on. All these other properties are showing the view of the beach, of the inside of the house. And that is can be a very distinguishing factor. Why? Because all these other properties have beautiful uh, interiors, and they're really painting a better picture of what it's like to actually be in his property or their property. And that's what I'm recommending to Jay is that you get a, a good um, internal shot of your photo that actually will show guests how you um, differentiate from the competition. Now, on the note of photos, as I click through these top few photos, I'm noticing that your pictures are not quite the same quality as your competition. I don't know if you did these on your own, but if you did get them professionally done, I recommend getting a different photographer. Here's a couple reasons why. Now this, this picture particularly has a lot of what we call, uh, the angles are bad. Let's just, let's just call it that. Um, you can see that this picture was taken from somebody either reaching their camera up high and taking a picture or somebody t really tall taking a picture because these lines that you're seeing, these, they're supposed to be vertical lines. They should be parallel with the side of the frame. You don't want to see these lines doing this um, because it just, it just looks warped, it looks weird, um, and it doesn't resonate well. Look at some of these other lines. You can see the, 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 the pictures of, on um, his competition. The, the, the walls are parallel with the side of the frame and that's really what it should be. So these pictures that Jay has really aren't as professional as it could be and that's costing him a huge click rate. So Jay, um, there you have it. I hope that helps. I'm excited to do a fall video. Okay, it's been 14 days since we analyzed Jay's property and we had him do a couple of things. Number one, we had him get all new photos. His photo quality was a little bit less than professional. And number two, we had him change his cover image from just a straight beach shot to something that actually highlights the interior of his home. Uh, and so I wanna dive in and see what impact that had on his listing. So this is what his listing looks like now. His photo, his photo quality is much, much better. Um, really, really happy about that. You can see that his, the, the, the parallel lines are now vertical, or I'm sorry, the, the vertical lines are now uh, parallel with the wall. You can see that the, you can now actually see outside. Um, the lighting is much more balanced here, so it's not just like a blown out window, which happens pretty frequently. But just, just generally, these pictures are much, much prettier. So um, this is what it looked like the two weeks prior to his change. So he made his change on the 5th. This is 522 through 64. Um, you can see his first page impression rate was at 66%. His uh, click rate was about 7% and his book rate was 0.17%. Okay, so let's fast forward to two weeks later and his first page impression rate has actually gone up. I did not expect this. 
Um, and honestly, I don't know, really know how to explain it unless he dropped his price a little bit, which doesn't look like it. Um, when I when I looked at his pricing, it seemed pretty similar. Um, but his he's getting on first page more frequently. Now, I don't know if Airbnb is looking at the quality of his photos somehow and, and determining that they're, they're better looking, so he should be on rank. I doubt it. Um, but nevertheless, the change did seem to increase his first page impression rate by about uh, almost 10%. So that's that's pretty awesome. Um, now his click rate actually went down a little bit. So it went from 7% to 5%. So maybe he sacrificed about 2% click rate. The reason for this is because we generally see an inverse relationship between first page impression rate and click rate, meaning that if you're getting on first page a lot, your the efficiency at which you convert those first page impressions into clicks drops a little bit because you're 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 dealing with a lot more competition you're getting a lot more eyeballs and it's just harder to convert at the same efficiency if you're near the top of of rank so um, the fact that he only dropped so that he went up 10 percent in first page impression rate and only sacrificed two percent of click rate is actually really good so happy, pretty happy about that now here's the killer so you can see uh, his conversion rate was 0.17%, meaning he's converting 0.17% of his clicks into bookings prior to this photo change. Look what happened after. Now he's converting at 0.83%. So this is like a six, seven times increase in conversion rate just because he got professional photos. So I say this a lot but you cannot stress enough the return you get on professional photos. If you are trying to scrimp and save on photos, just don't. Pay what it takes to get the best photos and it will pay off in the end. Happy optimizing.